So here I am in the boat. Uh, it's the next day. And after doing all the fillets yesterday, the next task will be to cut the wires. And there's a lot of them. And to put a little bit bigger fillet joint over this whole area where the wires were plus where the other fillets were. And I'm going to take this, which is just a cedar uh, shim, and make a slightly larger uh, filleting tool than these depressors, tongue depressors that I was using. So, so that the fillet is just slightly larger, go over all of them with some thickened epoxy. And then the goal is to take this uh, roll of fiberglass tape and place uh, fiberglass over each of the joints all over the boat. So it's going to be a process of mixing epoxy and rounding over all the joints with this new tool where I have to round this over and getting the fiberglass tape in. So yeah, let's do that. Here's a close-up of the epoxy fillets with the thickened epoxy. And there's the wire. Uh, so this is enough to hold the boat together um, until I get these wires cut and then the fiberglass tape put in here and covered with epoxy. This is an area that's going to be underneath the seat and it's going to be an enclosed space filled with foam so it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, other areas of the boat it does need to be uh, perfect because it's going to be not covered. So here is the outside of the boat and I'm grabbing these uh, wires that I've already snipped on the inside to pull them out from the outside. Mixing epoxy takes a long time, so I decided to, instead of using these pumps, pour some out to get enough, and then this is speeded up 32 times so you can see how long it kind of takes to, uh, just to mix the epoxy and get the uh, thickener. This is a wood uh, flour that makes the epoxy thick enough to go into these fillets. And then I've got it into a gallon Ziploc bag, clip the corner, and that becomes my little deliverer of thickened epoxy. So here's kind of the final result. I've got the thickened epoxy, and I've already gone ahead and put tape up here in the bow section. You can barely see the tape there embedded in the uh, epoxy. Now the tape is embedded with just unthickened epoxy, just clear epoxy. And there you can see the tape kind of sticking up right at the edge there of the boat. All right, so this is round two of thickened epoxy and tape. It took me two rounds because I got awful tired doing uh, the first round. It was probably about four hours total to make the epoxy, put it out on all these joints, and then get fiberglass tape over the joints. So uh, it's not 
difficult, but it just takes a lot of time because it's got to be right. All right, so I've squeezed out all of the epoxy uh, out of the bag, and now I'm going through here with the uh, coving tool for all of these fillets. And then it will be onto the fiberglass tape. So I'm mixing up a little bit of unthickened epoxy and cutting the fiberglass tape for all of these joints. So to spread the unthickened epoxy, just use a, a cheap chip brush from Lowe's or Home Depot and spread out the unthickened epoxy right onto the three inch fiberglass tape, embed it into the still wet thickened epoxy that's in the fillets. I decided to give you a little bit of real time on uh, putting the fiberglass tape in so here's that. I like this process of putting the unthickened epoxy over the thickened epoxies in the cove here and so the fillet filleted cove and it's really easy to embed this three inch fiberglass tape into the unthickened epoxy and you just have to go over it with the chip brush there and get all the air pockets from underneath and in the weave of the fiberglass tape Sorry about the shaking of the camera, but I have the camera stand attached to the boat, so every time I move around in the boat, it moves the camera.
All right, off camera here, pumping some more uh, epoxy out of these containers into that red Dixie cup, getting enough unthickened epoxy so that I can wet out this last little bit of fiberglass tape. Yeah, it's awesome stuff. All right, so in a second here, I'm going to give you a little bit of handheld camera work, which I have uh, think I realize that I can't do handheld work and brush out the unthickened epoxy into the tape at the same time and actually hold the what I'm doing in the camera. So I wish I hadn't taken off my gloves because epoxy is not good stuff. And here's the finished product. I've got a thickened epoxy fillet in every joint, and every joint is covered with three inch fiberglass tape over the entire boat. So by tomorrow, when this is all cured, this boat will be unsinkable. <laughs> 